All right, so um, welcome back. Today I'm gonna go ahead and um, test the capacitor on the load using this here Subco Redfish meter. Um, pretty cool meter actually. Uh, it does power factor and different things like that. It's actually a power meter. But um, I'm gonna just quickly show you how I go about using this meter and this here um, app to, to test my capacitor, both the fan and the um, hermetic side under load. Just found this out yesterday. Um, talked to Jim Berkman and with this meter, if you're if you're if you're trying to test these capacitors under load, you're gonna want to just put one terminal, one lead on the terminal at a time. Essentially, and the reason I guess he said it's to do with some kind of um, just overloading the meter if you try to hit, um, touch both leads to the terminal at once. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do? Wrap it around the fan lead. That magnet stuck on it. One terminal onto common. And then I'm going to put the breaker disconnect in. Make sure. Yeah. Okay, so I'll take the other lead here now. I'm going to touch on the fan side. Oh, nice. That is accurate. Okay, so we've got 2.9 microfarads. Hold on. I want to do my target. It's supposed to be the 5. We've got 2.9 microfarads. Point nine. Okay. So now we go for the disconnect once again. Then I'm going to want to put one terminal, the other terminal here on the hermetic side, and I'm going to wrap my amp clamp around the blue wire. Switch this target 35 on the app. Go ahead and, uh, let it run for a sec. So we've got 29 microfarads. It should be a 35. So that capacitor is running low under load. And I always like to check. I always like to do, um, you know, quality check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the system off. And I'm going to see how close this actually was. If I can take a screenshot here, what happens if I hit stop? Let's say save. Yes. Before I disconnect. And now we're going to just go to capacitance. And let's go ahead and take off Hermetica's blue. Fan, brown, so this and yellow, it's going straight to the contactor. It's going to be our common. See how close this thing was. Twenty-seven, eight nine. So we're two microfarads sh short. That's not bad. I'll go to test here. I'm just gonna go leave test. Let's say capacitor dual run bench test. Dual run round. Yep. Rated voltage. Gonna be the. 440 and we're going to do 
35 by 5, continue, 26.85, let's capture that, so yeah, as you see that failed, oh wait, shoot, reset, capture, measure the fan, we will take this off the hermetic, put one probe onto the fan, and we'll see 2.6, I was getting 3 when it was under load, so 2.65, capture, so you failed, capacitance 23% under rated capacity. So that goes to show you, um, you can definitely use this meter to check system under load, check your capacitors under load. Uh, so you can trust it that way you don't have to worry about you know going about taking the turn the whole system off and um, you know just checking one terminal at a time this thing will well I mean at the end of the day you probably still don't want to do it while it's hot live I, you know I usually cut the power just to connect the uh, leads and to find a nice area but if you wanted to do it live then if you feel that comfortable um, this meter will, or any meter that can read um, you know, any power meter should be able to get you in the right ballpark to do that. Yeah, and this this is just uh, you know one of those that for you guys that are a little bit newer in the field, I'm sure you know the veterans already know about this. So, so yeah, I just wanted to show you that real quick. If you have any other any questions or comments, let me know below. If you like this. If you don't mind, just give it a thumbs up and a subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, Sam.